Hello everyone, it's me, Yule, and today I will be doing some what is it in my backpack video today. So just like a small introduction, what kind of a bag owner I am? Well, I am a college student, but I'm currently not in college because I'm taking a gap semester. Um, but I am studying at a library every day, pretty much. So welcome to a video about a gap semester college students. What's in my bag? Let's get started. So there's sort of a tradition in Korea. I don't know if it still applies until now. The tradition was that once you go into college, especially for girls, like once you get that acceptance letter and you're about to become a freshman year, parents usually buy nice handbag for their children. Um, so yeah, that's what I always expected college life would be like. Me wearing, you know, pretty dainty heels and you know, using like small handbags just for like, I guess pencils or I don't even know what I was thinking. But I'm now almost graduating college and I'm using a bag that's actually a lot heavier than my high school bag. So, oh, the turntables. I chose this specifically because I like having a lot of compartments. Maybe it's because I grew up having dresses and skirts that don't have pockets. Um, I hate bags. I really hate bags. So I really love pockets. And then now I love bags with a lot of pockets. So the backpack that I use is this bag. Um, it's from Spau. One thing about this bag that I do find a little uncomfortable is that it has so many like buckles, like plastic buckles, and I feel like it makes it a bit heavier than it has to. Although like it's very functional because you can make this tighter so you don't have like a turtle shell on your back especially when you're in public transportation which is usually what college students in Korea um, take to go to school. So I do have mixed feelings about its functionality but I've been loving it um, so far and I use it every day when I go to the library now. I don't really like to decorate my backpack. I like to keep it simple, mostly because I don't want to add any unnecessary weight. Starting this year, I started to go to like BTS Cafe for their birthday celebrations, and um, I got a, a keyring, and it was V's birthday last December, and I thought it was so cute. So this year, my goal is actually to, you know, get one keyring of each member for each of their birthdays. So that's what I'm starting from now. But otherwise, my backpack is pretty simple and very clean. So the first compartment I'm going to open is this bottom one. I put my wallet and my AirPod here so it's easily accessible. So this is my wallet. It is Joe Stewart's pink and red wallet. Um, whenever I buy wallet, I always and only go for red color one. I'm not usually a superstitious person, but f <laughs> for wallets and money, like red is the lucky color and it has been treating me well, which did not help but only feed my superstition. And yeah, this is my very cute wallet. And then what else I have is my AirPods that I decorated in my last video. Inside the net, there's actually another zipper. So in here are all my snacks, but mostly right now, I think I ate all my snacks. So all I have are tea packets. These are all just like tea packets and coffee that I'm going to need to get through the day. Um, I do like drinking normal water, but then sometimes I'm just way too tired and I can't just survive on normal water. So I do need this. It's like, it's like my vitamin. And I get a lot of tea as gifts from my friends, so thank you. And this is a super accessible coffee mix powder form um, in Korea. It's the most popular brand is from Max, Max Maxim and it's like it's like a latte but way more sugar so it's actually really bad for my health 
Next compartment is this diagonal small pouch and it, it is actually perfect size to put my glasses. I've been using these glasses since my freshman year in college. Like, I took such bad care. I don't bring around cases and I only just recently bought this um, glasses cleaner. So yeah, it's like super bad. I have to get it repaired. I'm gonna actually put it on right now because I'm having a hard time looking at the screen. My eyesight is so bad after I started playing Overwatch. Listen, I would have never bought myself a glasses cleaner with my own money. Um, but look at this. It's a cat on a toast and it's so done with life. This is so cute and I had to get it. The third pocket is this front small compartment. And this is where I keep all my electronics. So I have my Nintendo Switch that I got as my birthday gift from my boyfriend. Um, it's the Pokemon Sword and Shield edition. I love it so much. It's so light and so compact. I do have to get a case for this so it doesn't like break apart um, inside my very, very um, heavy and bulky bag. The next thing I have is this portable wireless charger. Um, it also works wirelessly and I love it. It has a lot of power in it. And also, not shown in the video, but my camera and my tripod is also in this compartment. And my fifth is this slightly bigger um, pocket. This is where I store my living important items, my cosmetics. So I have this huge pouch. Um, I got it from Daiso for like, I think 3,000 won. It's super cheap. I need a lot of stuff these days. Like I like being prepared. So this is pretty much my first aid kit. So the first thing I have is this makeup cleanser. Um, sometimes I just want to rub my face when I'm in the library. So I just decide to take off my makeup. So this comes in really handy. It's from Innisfree and it's apple seed cleansing tissue. Next is an actual cleansing wipe and I'm covering it because in Korea, a lot of people like to advertise their companies by putting their company logo and contact information on the cleansing wipes to hand out in the streets. So yeah, these are cleansing wipes. A real emergency kit is my um, three bear compartmentalized, what is this called? Pill pack? I got this from Artbox in Myeongdong, but I think they have it everywhere. The best part about this, I just had to get it, is because um, you can actually unbind the bears. So these are my painkillers. These are uh, for my digestion problems, which I also have a lot of. And the last is my cold. And I have a hand cream from Tozhem, and it's perfumed hand cream in not flavor. Uh, fragrance apricot apricot in case I don't get to brush my teeth I like to bring this around it's um, a peppermint breath spray a band-aid a hair tie these are all just lip products that I must carry around so this this is Lily by Red Bloody Liar coating tint and this is an oil based tint that lasts a long, long time so yeah, like, um, I could easily just put it on and not worry about, you know, any marks or any unflattering lip lines because it's completely oil-based. I have the color number six, and it's like a bright rose, sort of a cherry apple color. It's warm tone. And this is from Innisfree, a simple label lip color balm and it's actually just a balm but it's tinted and it's one of the best tinted lip balms I ever used because tinted lip balms tend to make my lips drier than they're supposed to because of the chemical of the actual coloring but this one doesn't at all and the color actually shows unlike a lot of lip balms so I've been using this really well recently and that one was the top color it looks a lot less brighter compared to the tint, of course, but on the lips, like, it shows. 
And last is a very basic lip balm that I use. It's from L'Occitane. L'Occitane. Um, this is the best lip balm I ever used. Like just for the function of a lip balm. But it is very expensive. So I do use it sparingly. I only have this much left. Another cosmetic I keep in my pouch all the time is my Innisfree Skinny Micro Liner. Um, I have to have this because I don't like using liquid liners which should last a longer time. This one doesn't. That's why I have to reapply it. But my eyelid don't is not really compatible with a liquid liner. Um, so yeah, this is what I use. This is also what I'm using right now but in the color black. And the last thing that I bring around in my emergency kit is this masking tape. I use a paper film over my iPad Pro and that itself should make the frictional force be enough for my iPad to actually feel like a pencil and paper. But because it doesn't and because I want to reduce noise that my Apple Pencil makes in the library, I use this masking tape. But I do need to recoil it at least about two times per day if I'm studying for about like 10 hours. So I keep this around. And the one other thing that I keep in my <clears throat> emergency cosmetic whatever pocket this is, is my toothbrush. And finally, my last official pocket, which is the seventh pocket. It's the big pocket. This is where all of my study materials would be. So it actually has another compartment inside, which is usually for laptops, but ever since I got my iPad Pro, I don't carry it around my laptop as much. And I also edit my videos from my iPad Pro. So yeah, I don't use my laptop anymore. I don't have paper at all in my backpack unless I need to print out something for my classes or if I need to print out something so that I can actually start highlighting and intensely memorize. So. All I have in the big pocket is my pencil case for just in case purposes, maybe if I want to print something. I don't have a lot of stuff. I just have a good size post-it, some marking post-its. Korea always takes exams. Um, their Scantron always uses this black marker and not like a pencil like America does. So we always have to have one of that. And I have this mechanical pencil that I had. Actually, I think I had it from my high school years. This is a really nice pen, actually. I got it from my cousins who went to um, Disneyland. And a simple highlighter, one red pen, and one black pen. Very, very... Maybe if you came from watching my Dongdaemun shopping haul video, you might think that I'd be more decorative. And yes, I do have much cuter pencils, but they're actually not that functional for when I'm studying. At least one I'm studying for right now, so sorry if I disappointed you with my pencil case. And in this small compartment, I have one eraser that I stole from my dad and this whiteout that fits perfectly, so I had to get that. And lastly, this is a cap for my Apple Pencil case. So in my other compartment, I have my iPad Pro. Um, this is 11 inch. Yeah, this is 11 inch. And this case is from a random Korean store online. I think I bought it from the same store, but I do have a case over my iPad pen Apple Pencil because um, when I use my Apple Pencil without the case, it's actually way too skinny that my hands start hurting. And like this, the masking tape is necessary for good note-taking. And I will make a video on note-taking um, tips really soon, so please look forward to that. And lastly, in case I want to organize my notes in a document form before I start highlighting or taking notes. I do have this Logitech keyboard. Um, I really love this keyboard. It's super light and the best part about it is that it has three Bluetooth connections so I can switch my Bluetooth connection real time. So I can connect it to my laptop, my phone, and also my iPad Pro, Pro um, interchangeably all at the same time. I think the last two pockets they were referring to is 
the side pockets for the drinks probably. I don't have my tumbler in the video right now because I just put it in the uh, washer. On one pocket, I always have this self-protection, self-defense um, pepper spray. Um, Korea is generally really safe, but in some areas, you know, having this makes me feel more protected. So yeah, that's what I have. So that was it for my what's in my back video. I hope you enjoyed this and maybe next time I can bring a video about what's actually in my purse for when I go on dates. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment about whatever because I really enjoy reading all of your comments. And subscribe if you want to see more of it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.